The Valheim Ashland update is finally here, and oh boy, does it look good. I'm going to take a look at the new build pieces to show you what is possible and give my thoughts on them and how I managed to build this beautiful mansion. It was supposed to be a regular house, but uh, yeah, I got carried away. First thing I noticed when I entered the build menu was a new category, heavy build. When I saw the new stone pieces, they were so clean, so smooth, so straight. Compared to the regular stone, they are so straight it even makes the marble look bad. The color of the new stone pieces named Grailstone seemed to be a nice ashy grey tone. Not 100% sure if that is the color, but I love it. And it being thin like wooden walls, oh, such a great decision. I was getting tired of the chunky ones. And the new wood pieces? All the new pieces were screaming at me to build a castle. Now that we have these pieces to play around with on the public test branch, I wondered how well does it blend with the old pieces? When Mistens came out, it was challenging at first to use the marble. If I made a build completely out of marble, I needed a way to tone it down a bit because it felt overbearing. And if I tried to mix it with old pieces, I had to be selective on where to put it. It was a balancing game. With the new pieces, it didn't have that level of difficulty. Right away, it clipped. But that is just me. However, you on the other hand may feel different about it. It is still a balancing game, but it is not that hard once you understand how and when to use them. One thing I noticed when using the Greystone wall piece, you will be greeted with the texture repeating over and over. Few of the guys from my community express that they do not like it, I don't either, but I don't see it as a big problem. It pretty much forces you to add more detail, and because the piece is just simple and not too fancy, it makes it easy to add to it. However, when you are inside your build, it is going to feel modern, so you're gonna have to add some detail using some of the old pieces to tone it down, that is if you don't want that modern house feeling. For the ash wood wall pieces, I find it easy to work with them, but you still have to watch how much of it you are using if you are not going for a modern style home. Overall, I think you can still have a nice rustic build with some clean trims here and there, this will challenge your creativity as it is challenging minds. Things I noticed while I was messing around is that certain pieces for the new ones weren't there. We got new roof pieces in the new stone type which looks great. But if you look at the wooden roof pieces and the stone ones, you will see that there are no 26 degree roof pieces. That I am sad about and wonder why there aren't any. I'm hoping they have them and plan to release them when the update goes to public server or I don't know whenever. What is also missing which I consider important is that there is no oak corner 45 degree piece like what we have for the thatch and dark wood. There is also no eye corner roof piece but after testing with a fellow YouTuber WSR Gamer he showed me you can make the eye corner roof piece by using the two greater than corner roof piece. You do this by placing down one of the pieces and where it has the angle side, you snap the opposite roof piece with it angle side meeting it at a 90 degree angle. I love that they added these two corner pieces because you can set your roof at an angle with ease like what I have here. I also noticed that there isn't a one by one graystone wall. I thought that would have been nice to have to fill some small spaces when doing your bills. I'm glad the devs were able to add smarter build pieces that are going to help in adding finer detail to builds. One build piece I want to highlight more is the Ashwood Arch Wall. I can see myself using this piece a lot. Another thing I want to mention, and I know that you guys as builders are going to love it, and it's something we have been asking for. How can we protect our regular wood pieces from the rain? I don't want to show you what it is because it is too much of a spoiler. I want you to have the satisfaction to discover it on your own. Overall, I'm super pleased with the pieces the devs were able to add. Every time I look at the new pieces, I keep hearing this hushed voice like it's whispering in my ear sweet words. Honey, you forgot to take out the garbage.
Now to show you the potential of the new build pieces. Before I started building, I first sketched a house I wanted to try the new pieces on. So I started to work on the layout using the new 1x1 gray stain floor. Thought that using the new 1x1 wooden floor along with the 1x1 gray stain floor would make a lovely floor design. I needed to figure out the entrance section of the building and how the top part of the structure was going to turn out. Before I started, I was playing around building a wall concept. This was what I used to get some ideas to work on this part of the build. You may notice that I was using the small wooden door to add layers and layers of detail. I used this advanced building technique throughout the build along with the manual snapping points that made the process easy. It can get very time consuming at times, but the results are worth it. After that section was up, I wanted to see how the roof lined up and if I was going to need iron posts for additional support. But so far, this new Greystem piece supports way better than regular stone. Here, you can see I'm creating a 1 meter snap point so that the stone rests under the roof for proper support and also for it not to poke through the roof. I switched my focus to the right side of the build trying to add the right detail to make it pop which took some time to figure out. I forgot I was following my sketch that showed there was supposed to be a chimney there but I got lost in the process and decided I wanted a tall window instead. Once I was done with that side, I switched back to working on the front of the build adding the new arch roof pieces. I wanted this part to be 5 meters wide so I had to use advanced snapping building technique to get 4 of the arch roof pieces to connect nicely. I used the same method to do the roof for the structure at the back. Then I tried playing around with the small graystone arch to give it a fancy design. It was a bit challenging because I had an issue snapping the small arch from its bottom snapping point to another small arch bottom snapping point. I didn't have this issue with the top snapping point of the arch. I then proceeded to work on the middle part of the build. I made sure the walls were lower than the right side so that the middle roof stopped under the right side roof. Once that looked okay, I started working on the front by shaping up the balcony and adding detail to get an idea how it would look. I tried my best to incorporate the new wood in the build to see how they work together and oh boy, they work so well together. Everything looked so good. Now for the last part of the build. After realizing what I did with the other parts of the build, I needed to continue that flow. I felt like I wasn't in control, I was being sucked into the detailing process and found myself adding a higher level of depth I had never done before. Finally, it was over. Looking back on my previous builds compared to this one, I felt like I was playing a different game. And when I look at my first set of builds to this point, wow, what a journey. And to think after some years have passed, I am still learning new ways to build. If you are there wondering if it is time to hop back into the game, you definitely should. The update is currently in the public test brand, so I recommend you wait for the live public version. And when it is out, you better get your hammer ready. God, it's time to take Valen Vanilla Bills to a whole new level. Thanks to my patrons and YouTube members for supporting the channel and thank you for watching. Remember, always aspire to inspire. Peace.